Okay, so, um, at my last therapy appointment, my therapist mentioned that she wants me to try to remember some of the things that I've forgotten from my past because she said that remembering them and dealing with them will help me clear some space out of my head and maybe I won't hurt as much for things that I don't understand like when I cry and I don't know why I'm crying she says that that's because there's something locked up in my brain that needs to be addressed um, the problem I'm having is all of the memories I'm able to pull up are awful and they kind of make me think that I'm a monster because I didn't have any feelings as a child. Um, I don't remember a lot. I have very patchy memories, but I remember endless nights of my parents fighting, my mom screaming, things being broken. The constant thought that he could be killing her. Any night, my mother could have died. And I can remember just wanting them to be quiet so that I could sleep or watch TV. And I know that that's not right. I should have been worried. I should have been scared. I should have had feelings for her. She was my mother. But I just wanted her to be quiet. And even now, I, I have no feelings for her. I, I mean, I haven't spoken to anybody in my family in four years, and that's fine with me. I have no feelings or connection to anybody in my family. And I don't know why. I don't know if it's the borderline personality that came from the abuse or if I was born just unable to love, sorry, um, if I was just born unable to love, I, I don't know. I do remember having feelings for my little brother, so I know that I wasn't a complete monster because I did worry for him. Um, it was bad at that house though. My brother, he had cerebral palsy and uh, he would get scared if it was quiet because it was always so loud. So we had to have a radio or a TV going 24 hours a day because if it was ever quiet, he thought something was wrong. We never had anything nice because everything was always being broken, thrown around. My mom was always drinking. My dad was always angry. After my grandfather passed away, my dad had to drive me to my grandmother's every weekend. And one night he started crying and asking me why we didn't love him. And the whole ride, he just cried and talked about how he felt like we didn't care about him, how, you know, asking me why my mom didn't love him and all of this, and I just looked out the window and ignored him and just had no feelings for this man who I should have had feelings for because he was my father. Just hearing him cry should have bothered me, but it didn't. And I don't know why. I don't know if it's because there's something wrong with me that I was born with or that they caused. I don't really want to remember more because the more I'm remembering, the worse it gets. So for now, I'm going to try to leave as much as I can locked in the past. But it's really starting to get to me that I just don't have feelings the way normal people do. I've often thought 
that maybe I was autistic in some form. And these memories make me think even more that maybe I'm autistic because I know that some autistic people have trouble connecting with other people and I have immense trouble connecting with other people even with my own family and I don't know how to fix that I don't know how to be a normal person that feels things for people